the thumbnail you saw it. So I'm gonna give you a little uh, little sneak peek of what's going on. We're heading to the place right now to go pick up the uh, trailer. We got uh, old uh, Genesis. What's going on, fellas? With us here today, and um, I'm gonna explain to you guys why I picked these specific sizes. Uh, length, interior, what I'm gonna do to it, what plans I have for it. Hold on, I think we're exiting right here. What stand by one second? Yep, exiting right here, Riverside, San Bernardino. And um, we should be there in about 40 minutes. And I'll let you know uh, why. And, and I'm gonna show you guys around and explain to you why I picked this specific brand of trailers because I looked at trailers for months and months and months and months. And I'll explain to you guys why this guy convinced me and I'm going pretty much with his brand. You know when you push play and record and you play it back, you go, oh my gosh, that's me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. So this is this is my ramp door. This thing Real is quick. badass. Guys, we finally arrived here at the, I, I know I didn't tell you guys the name. The company's called Fractal Trailers. And like I explained to you, I'm gonna explain to you why. There's hundreds and hundreds of companies out there. And as you guys know, we have an enclosed at the house already. There's a lot. But there is a lot of differences and a lot of pros why I picked and went with Fractal Trailer. So I'm here with the owner, Anthony, of Fractal Trailers right here. And he's gonna explain pros, cons. I mean, the main thing that you guys see is, you notice there's no cables on this thing. That, I can't stand the cable, so. Let's show them the bottom yeah. right here. See that, no cables. Normally there's that ugly, you and just, everybody runs over and breaks. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So the, the biggest draw to this is, is that you have a, no cable, so it's a safety door. A, a small person can lift it one-handed easily. So, and it's rated for 5,000 pounds. Said it couldn't be done, here it is. It does give you a 97 wide opening on our standard trailer, which is with no cables. It's huge. And this one is how wide? Well, this is a 106, so your door is 102. All wow. right, so you guys know I like Clean. to, yeah, Clean. I don't, and you guys know my car, it'll fit, but this gives me the option to go bigger. You know, if I get a bigger car, I don't have to worry about now, oh crap, I gotta change tires. I don't wanna do all that. You know me, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. So come on in and we will uh, show you that beautiful coin flooring so these are yes. the springs now right yeah so there's a little heavier duty spring just to hold the, the wider door all right you guys notice the hooks so you can see the amount of hooks that we added here your i guess regular trailers what do they come with like six it's generally six six anything that gets a little larger will always add extra d-rings again all the d-rings are has a, a flat plate welded to the frame and then they're bolted through that. So they are for cars. Nice. Okay. So I added, I think I had a total of 10, right? Yes, sir. Added a total of 10 of them. We did also drive over fenders. I think it's the worst thing in the world when companies, they box these things. Uh, it's just, you know, you have a sharp edge and I'm just not a fan of that. So I went with the drive over fenders, which I mean, how wide, do you know, Anthony, how wide is, what is it, like 88 probably? Well, is it between the fenders? You know what, I got a measure on this one, but I think it's close to 86 minimum. Okay, so yeah, it's, so. It's minimum, maybe 87. Which your back tire is not gonna come through here, but your front, no problem, you know, you got plenty of room. Now, this is not a 24 footer. I chose, I went with a 26 footer. I'll explain uh, that to you guys later when we get home and all that. I don't wanna waste your time with that, but drive over fenders, and we also, let me show you, this was a big upgrade that was a must for me, it's outside. Come on over. Well first, how tall is this? Cause I'm six foot and I can't reach the Good roof. point. Um, this is your eight foot model. Uh, this is tall, yeah, yeah, eight you, foot. You asked for an Oh I did, yeah. I, I asked for the tallest that I can get, um, you know, not obviously stacker height, but as tall as I can go, um, just, I don't know, because, you know. Yeah, Why not? I'm, I Why can't. Not? Cabinets, tire racks, all kinds of things. <laughs> yeah. It opens up a lot of opportunities. Yeah. Yeah, this, I didn't notice this is really tall. <laughs> wow. That's what you're well, I'm for. just standing here. Now, when I do. Now, I like the stainless, the aluminum up there. Something yeah. I do want to say. And I'm tall. I mean, I'm like 5'4. I can't touch. <laughs> so, here's something I think is important. And, and as a manufacturer, I've made this conscious choice. Everybody uses an 032 aluminum, which is fine and great. And I use that on all my seven foot trailers standard. Okay. When I go to an eight foot tall, you have an 040. 
So your aluminum is a lot thicker. And I really do believe when you go that extra foot, it makes an absolute difference. Okay. So I think it's a, it's it's just more expense, but you guys should know that. And most people may not care, but yeah. I care. Yeah, no, so, quality is everything. I mean, I believe <clears throat> for paying a little more to get better quality. Right. You know, well, and I try to keep it really budget friendly. Your pricing is very aggressive. Yeah, the pricing is very, I mean, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I, 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 we have a, I don't like to talk shit about companies. No, let's not do that. Yeah. I just want to stand on my own. Yeah, I just, I, I checked, guys. Um, I checked a lot of companies, pricing too. A lot of companies. And all I can tell you is he beat them not by like, you know, 500 or 1,000, by a lot. Like a, a big amount. And you guys can call him if you're interested. In, and he has everything, not just enclosed. Enclosed, flatbed, stackers. Baja trailers. I mean, you had a dump trailers. Yeah, and he he'll build you so much. This was my another issue that I had. Mobile home, tiny home. <laughs> yeah, no, oh. everything. Oh, it was crazy. The the biggest issue I had was I wanted twenty six feet. Like I said, there's a specific reason why I want that. I'll explain to you later. Nobody, everything I found was twenty, twenty four, twenty eight. And you guys already know the motorhome's too big. I'm already going to be too long past the legal limit. So. They, I couldn't find anybody there like, no, we don't do 26. I'm like, where well, you're building it. I don't understand why. And they couldn't give me a reason. So he was the only one that would build me a 26 footer. I don't know the reason behind that. <clears throat> I'll build you 26 or half. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, that's just, what I didn't understand. I mean, it's getting built. Why not right. just build it? You know? We have no challenges with doing a lot of that. And I can walk you guys around and show you a stacker we're doing. Yeah. And keep we in mind. We just started a new color that actually we broke out with. As oh, of yes, nice. yesterday, so New colors, yeah, right? So we have I do everything white, guys. You know me. Everything I have is white. Keep so. in mind, it's the Sunday. He's here. Oh yeah, opened yep. up for us. Oh, yep. thank you. I appreciate so. you meeting me for sure. Yeah, he sent me a photo of him at the beach. I was like, sorry, <laughs> man, sorry I can only no. come today. You know. Oh, well, thank you. So he left the beach to come help me out over here. Oh, that's great. Well, big thing, guys. Big upgrade. You know, all these trailers I got either five or six lug. I was really against that, and well, you can see here. I went with the dual eight lug 16s instead of the generic or regular 15s that these trailers usually come with. So that was a big upgrade. Then this right here, guys, is going to be my favorite upgrade because you know me. I went from a toy hauler to now a motorhome. Well, motorhomes, you know, when we go to the desert, go on like our New Year's and Christmas where we're out there for like two weeks, the issue we have is water. We bring jugs, 55 gallon drums with us. Uh, even the toy hauler, I was cutting it close, you know, with bringing the water. So the motorhome now, the motorhome holds 110 gallons. We've added another water tank in the trailer. Now pretty much when it's low, this is your fill right here. And then once it's full, it'll help siphon it, you know, bleed out basically, let you know it's full. Take your other spigot, put it in here, put it in the motorhome, hit your water pump, boom, let it pump, and that's it. And you're back to, you know, having water again instead of dragging around a jug so that this is a huge upgrade for me this was like a must so that's one thing here at fractal anthony's company is he can pretty much add whatever you want uh you know fuel pump station fuel yeah i so some of you guys asked me why well, you're gonna ask why didn't i go with the fuel you guys know me and, you, and if you know my channel i'm extremely anal i have to physically see the fuel to make sure it is clean that's why I opted out with the fuel tank. So, but if you guys want it, he can add it. It's it's endless what this guy can do. And another thing you notice, no screws. I no went screws with the and look how smooth it is. It's yeah, it's not, not a like wavy. Doing this. It's, yeah. And then this is that thicker metal too. Yes, the one you're on talking the, about. And on the screwless, it makes a difference. Yeah, it does. It sounds silly and maybe it doesn't matter, but for me, for me it does. Well, and another thing you were saying is that the screws, I guess, are better for what the people you're saying that are it's sitting in the heat. Well, I don't want to. Yes and no. Once this bonds, it bonds. But okay. the guys sitting out in Phoenix at 120 year okay. after year after year, on year five, those if there ever is a warranty problem, it happens on those seams. Okay. And and that's just historic for every manufacturer out there. So by doing a graceful screw that's very very moderate. You don't even see it a lot of times. Correct. It it solves that future issue ten years from now. Okay. okay. And that's why I do it. It's not for any other reason. Okay. So, and you guys know me. This is gonna stay in a garage. So everything you guys know, all my <laughs> stuff is in a garage. If you don't know me by now, everything I have stays <laughs> in a garage. I don't put anything outside. So 
For me, I wanted to go screw this because of five years, I'm not going to have an issue. This is no. just going to be for the desert, and that's it. 99% of the people don't. Yeah. It's just that 1%, and usually they're 10 states away. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yep. but that, that's why I do it, and, and that's why I do it. All right. Perfect. All right, boys, so we're taking a little sneak peek tour of where the magic happens. <laughs> it's right here. It's it a big warehouse. It's going to get hot in here. You know, it, you know um, it is vented and during the okay. day everybody's got a fan but we're building a little 14 foot concession trailer here this is going to be an ice cream trailer oh shit um, <laughs> this is another 8 foot tall with the with the vinos we do what we call stop sign vinos which I think is pretty cool wow um, this one is a 32 foot car hauler on the big open centers we don't, when we do a commercial hauler we always do it on the bigger bean. We always do drive overs. We always do what they call a tie rail. Just do it. Just make it a little better. And there's no tongue on it yet. And this is a stacker I'm building for a sand for. I go, this, yeah, I like this. I know, it looks a little dirty because it's the weekend. But, anyways, so this is, nice. this is a 24 foot with a 16 foot belly lift in it. Wow. Yeah, and it's a uh, 13 4 went from to Florida, Florida, or we have talked about them. Yeah. Drive over. So, will this one be for sale soon? Yes. Uh, this, I, I'm making this one pretty cool, I think, for a sand sport. Put the TV, wolfers. Oh, this nice. will have all aluminum interior as well, lights and everything. I mean, wow. It should look pretty slick. We'll see. <laughs> 110 power. Steel floor, a low, a very low drive over, and you seal all of your. Oh, yeah. We're not done yet. I mean, we're we're still putting that that uh, Monday the, the belly pan lift will be completed. Okay. And so that's one thing, guys. That's huge that I wanted is some companies they they put the metal and they just leave it raw. Like you look under and it's just raw. Where he actually seals it, so it's protected basically. It's not sitting there. You know, you got raw metal. Right. Now, on all our standard trailers, we use a underbelly material, okay. which, that, which I can show you over there. So what we'll do is we'll do a steel frame, we'll use an underbelly mesh, and then put the wood on top of that. So it is a waterproof barrier. Wow. No, no, and that's standard for us. Okay. It's just, so it's not even special, it's just how he builds all of them. This way I don't hear it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. It's hard enough in California. They hate us. So, oh, and then this is one of my dumps that we do here. This one's a... Uh, Get ready to get done. 14 by 4, heavy duty, scissor lift, kind of dump. Oh, this one had the other coupler on Big eight lugs. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, this is the, the adjustable coupler that we do. And we can put this on anything. Oh, like even an enclosed? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Some guys like that. Like we did on the stacker, you can see right there. Oh, yeah. You know, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah. You should never demo in front of people. Demo? So far, so good. <laughs> demo is fast. You never do that as a salesman. But, um, they say this is one of our more popular ones. So, we sell this for $11,595. $11,595. $12,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and you're getting a 21,000 pound lift, loaded. Wow. Yeah, so, hey, my thumb's tired. But so, Andy, you're, you're, you're like the uh, the Costco of uh, I, trailers. You're, you're moving, you, you give a, a great deal because you just want to move, get the name out there, move the product. Please. Right, I'm trying to keep the price point very reasonable. I've got 16 families that work here. I'm just trying to wow. keep everybody busy. That's and, awesome. And, and, and grow a good product with a good brand. Yeah, that's awesome. So there's a lot of pride in it. I mean, it, it's. It I mean, it, it looks good. Like when you look at, you know, underneath. I mean, I've looked at underneath a lot of trailers, and it's scary. It's, it's <laughs> it scary. Is. I've you seen know, some I stuff. A bigger beam underneath. I just little things the nice thick gauge walls and floors and i actually slip my floor my sidewall under the floor because i have them all pre-made and bent 
And so just a little better seal, little things. I want to know when you're selling the stacker. I might be interested in this. Thing. <laughs> I got to take it to San <laughs> Sand <Sandsport>. cut. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, well, Sandsport is September 16th. It's got to go. Yeah. Okay. Because you know we we got a very big display this yeah, year. Oh, We're yeah. excited. We're going to take about 10 units this year. Nice. And let's see what happens. And this is 24 feet, you said? Yeah, this is 24. And we're doing a 20 foot for a customer with a 15 foot belly pan. Uh, we're buying the stinger lifts and one thing any customer needs to know four to six weeks just to get the lift There's no price break. Oh, wow. it, it is what it is wow. and if I buy one or 20 it is doesn't a little matter. better. It yeah, doesn't yeah. Matter. They're the best, but their, their quality <clears throat> is good and once you figured it out it works well That's awesome <laughs> yeah, so. Nice Yeah, so that, that is, yeah, we'll do that couple of That's a good way to go All right, so now we're up here in Anthony's upstairs massive oh, no. office. Look at this this place is just huge. This building is insanely massive. Look at that. I got the rammer down there. She. So now I got to give some money. So stay tuned. I will show you guys when we hook this thing up and uh, see how she tells. What's going on, guys? <laughs> All right. Time to take her home. It is hot. That's just a lot of work. It really is a lot of work. So if you guys go out there, you know what we have to deal with. Trying to back her on up. Got the forklift to lift it up or something. Say he's a master at it. Interesting. Yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, <laughs> it's not like overexert ourselves, right? Work smarter, strong, not. Dude, I'm not worried about it. Work smarter, not harder. Uh -huh. A little bit. Good. All right. Yeah, we're good. Well, check it out, boys. She's right in. Tucked in the garage next to the bus. Look at her. She fits nice. So she's not going to sit baking in the sun. Keeping these. Just cleaned her up. Look at, look at that. Keeping these panels nice. So this is it, boys. Now. One thing, I should uh, get your guys' suggestion. What do you think? I was thinking, uh, like I said in the video, you know, I like the 8 lug because, number one, the way 8 lug, but we can actually now put some real, you know, like you can put some toil, you can put some nittos. I heard the general tires were pretty amazing. Um, I was looking online, a lot of people are running these general, uh, I forgot it, what it was, but I want to I say AT4, but it's not AT4. But the, there's a lot of good reviews on the general tires uh, that, you know, can go on these 16-inch rims. Thinking about also changing the rims, going with a, um, I don't know, something to match the RV, maybe chrome. What do you guys think? Or just keep them black? I don't know. Or a method black? Give me some options, guys, you know, on some rims. Um, and, you know me, we're going to do lights, you know, add a ton of... Of the, I mean, look, there's only one, two, three. Come on. We got to put like one every foot. So we're going to pull this in the uh, air conditioning garage because it's a little warm still. And uh, we're going to get working on this thing. We're going to install a winch in the front inside of it. Um, I, the front, I was thinking about putting like a flat plate, maybe mounting a generator there. Not sure yet. Haven't decided. This I want to get rid of. I want to go with a uh, the hydraulic instead of uh the like twist or an electric i don't know just something uh something better than this twist this twist is uh it's kind of weak you know kind of slow uh but i did finally measure it guys the overall length of this thing so the box is 26 the tongue is exactly five feet two inches from the very tip of it right there so you can call it you know i don't know 30 31 31 in a little bit I want to put a toolbox if I can. I don't know. I got to pull stuff in and out of here to play with it and see, you know, what I can do. And I'm going to finish this. Um, like I, I told you guys before. So with these trailers, why I like to get them unfinished is because I like to do, or maybe I didn't tell you, but I like to do all the wiring myself. So put all the lights. I like to insulate it myself. I like to, if I can, build the trailer myself because I know I'm going to do it right. Not saying the company, you know, would do a bad job, but just, you guys know, nobody's going to do a 
a as good as job as you will like if you're doing it you know so when you do it you know that you know everything is going to be perfect like you're going to take the time you're going to make sure this is perfect and and do this and butt connect this or tie this or zip tie take that extra step you know where companies you know they, they gotta they can't take their time on every single trailer because they're trying to make some money um so they got to push these things out where you can sit and you can like sit there and think okay well if i ride it like this or do this you know so when you do it, it takes more time that's why i like to sort of finish it finish it myself so i want to do like the carpet halfway insulate it do nice white led lights everywhere different color who knows you know we're, we're gonna make it badass but let me know what you guys think comment down below on the trailer let me know your thoughts let me know what you would change what you would do tires what you guys have ran i'm very curious to know but thank you guys for watching if you like the video hit the thumbs up don't forget to click subscribe peace